No matter what he tells you, ladies, he is not a doctor. Some of us are just made to suffer. <laughs> That's me. That's this guy. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Eh? Todd, the cheap drums guy. Ooh. See how long I got back there? Ooh. Ooh. No rest for the weary. We've got a whole bunch of comforters and sheets to put away and laundry to do. This was real life. Yeah, you don't see Rob beat down Brown washing his skivvies or R. David R. You know, mending his socks and whatnot. This is real life. This is <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> but anyways, so the cheap drums guy got lots of uh, work to do today. You know, when I got those electronic kits, the electronic kits, I do have the sticks still for those electronic kits. They're crap. I mean, they really are. Uh, these inexpensive electronic kits come with these child size drumsticks. They're probably 15 or 16 inches, you know, about an inch, inch and a half shorter than your normal stick. And they're very light. Uh, <sighs> using them, I kind of looked at myself as a ninja because I got pretty good at chucking them across the room like a star, like a ninja star. Holy crap, they were just so light. I needed something heavier uh, when I played so as not to put out a window. So I went to our local music store and I picked up a pair of Vic Firths, uh, seven A's with the nylon tip. And I thought that would help out and they did. And I think the nylon tip for those inexpensive electronic kits was a lot more beneficial than using a wood stick because, you know, with the wood sticks, even if you, you hit something, you're going to get splinters and, and shavings and whatnot. And I <coughs> find wood chips and splinters from my sticks on my acoustic stuff all the time. So I think those were a good match for the electronics. But I still sent them across the room a couple times. So... I went online and found a place called Sweetwater, which I use quite often now, and I bought a four-pack of sticks. Um, these are Vic Firth American Classic 5Bs. I really, really like these sticks, and this is the set. And my first set that I got is now all taped up over there, all the sets together. I'm saving the drumsticks for some reason. I don't know. You never throw away anything. But... These lasted me a uh, full year. Uh, I do bang the crap out of my sticks. But I really like these. Um, they have a, a better feel to them, a better weight. I like the heavier stick. And the black finish on there, uh, the warmer your hands get, if they do get a little moist. <sighs> Some people hate that word. I'm sorry. Sweaty. Uh, your hand seems to grip the stick a little bit. So I don't have a problem with losing these sticks. Um, if I do, it's usually I end up missing a hi-hat and I fling it down to the floor. But I don't send them across the room anymore. Now, <clears throat> with those snare upgrade packs, I also got sets of Promark 5As. Now, A is different than B. A is a lighter stick. And these are a little lighter stick, uh, the same same thickness as the Vic first and these are a lot grippier just from the get-go when you got cold hands which I really like these but these are a really light stick now generally if I when I'm playing along to music uh, usually lighter music I mean I can't even think of something right off the top of my head I liked using these but when I try to emulate my favorite drummers, uh, like who is my music, has always been my music hero, Frank Beard, 
or my favorite drummer I like to play along with, which is Phil Rudd from ACDC. With the lighter stick, you have to put more strength and effort into what you're doing to achieve the sound you want. I want to sound like him when I'm playing. You know, I don't want to be listening to Phil Rudd dun, 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 clobber on the hi-hat, and I'm just going with the tiny little stick. I didn't want that. Um, I wanted to achieve his sound. And even with the 5Bs, I have to put a little bit more effort into everything. So, I thought I'll change that up a little bit. Now, with drums, you have, there's so much variety in everything you do. And, of course, with sticks, there are, too. I wanted to try something a little heavier. I don't want to have to put in more physical strength to play a certain song just to get it to sound a certain way. I want to just continue to play how I'm comfortable in playing. And in, in playing, that, that's very important. You play how it's most comfortable for you. So I thought, well, if I want to play comfortably, but I want to achieve that sound, i got to go with a heavier stick. And so, New Year's Day, I placed an order through Sweetwater. And I was getting to the point where I needed new sticks anyways, because this is one of my better pair of 5As, and you can see they're all 8 up. But then again, I think I'm... I, the reason for that is I got my hi-hat a little too high right now. My cymbals are angled properly, I believe, but my hi-hat's still a little high, and I'm catching the edge of that a little more often, hence the reason it's getting all ate up. But this is about the best pair I have. The other ones are getting chewed up quite quickly, so I do have to drop that down. But I placed an order through Sweetwater, because I want to experiment with different sticks. I, I wanted to find the right one for me to use. Now, I like watching our David R videos. I mean, who doesn't? He's a likable guy. He's got uh, pretty good content, really good content. Uh, there's hundreds of thousands of people who you know, won't go wrong. But one of the pairs of sticks he recommended were uh, Vic Firth 5B freestyle sticks. You know, it's just a 5B stick unpainted. You know, no big deal. You know, why is it, how is it any different than my other 5Bs? Well, for one, look at the length. A little bit of a difference there. You're looking at 3 quarters to an inch difference. These are 17 inch sticks. A lot longer. Same weight as my other ones. But I also have a tendency to miss some of my symbols. I don't know why it is. Maybe just because sometimes I'm a bad shot with my drumsticks. Not with a rifle. I'm a great shot, but with my stick, sometimes I'm not a good shot. So I thought by giving a 17-inch stick a try would help me out a little bit more. You know, which is strange because I have such a confined space here that I'm, I, I have my drum set up. And everything's in so close. You, you'd think I'd, I'd, I'd hit <laughs> perfectly every time. <gasps> no. I don't. So, that's where these come in. I'm going to give these a shot. I bought four pair of these. Oh, actually, I bought a three-pack, and you get a fourth pair for free out of Sweetwater. And also, along with these, I ordered three pair of LA Specials. And these LA Specials are two Bs. Yeah. Yeah. That's like holding a flipping tree trunk. Tree trunk. That's a pretty weight for a drumstick. That's pretty weighty. And now I don't know. Let me hold them up. See if closer to the camera. But you can see the difference. The five B on your right and the two B on your left. Yeah. That's a heifer there. She's a big girl. And I thought by using a heavier stick, I could play the same or play how I am play comfortably, but achieve the sound I want without having to put more effort into my playing. So, fortunately, What's-Her-Face is sleeping, so I have to be kind of quiet. But, 
there is a little bit of a difference just just using the hi-hat alone now I'm gonna play how I like to play comfortably with the sticks I'll start off with the 5A I'll move to the 5B and then I'll go the 2A or the 2Bs and I'll even try the freestyle even though they're regular 5B they're just a little longer to read I'm gonna make much of a difference but you'll probably want to know what they sound like anyways so how I like to play more comfortably on the hi-hat is like this and that's with the 5A's playing the same way with the 5B's there's a little bit of difference now with the 5B 17 inch it's only a three quarter of an inch difference it's not going to make much of a deal this one I'm curious about so I haven't done this yet so this is the 2B LA Specials that makes me kind of happy definite change definite change just sitting here playing the same way I usually do heavier stick achieve a heavier sound of course well of course you're going to the only the only thing I'm curious about is because it is a little heavier stick my hand or my wrists are used to playing these Vic first the five B's I'm just wondering how much of a difference it's going to make after an hour and a half of playing how much different the weight is going how much of a factor the weight's going to come into play so it'll be kind of interesting to see but those are pretty pretty spiffendicular yeah that's kind of cool now along with the different lengths and the weights of drumsticks you also have uh, in wood tips there is quite a, a different uh, amount of tip size there's acorns there's barrel shaped uh, a more eye shaped there's like a little a little I don't know what do you call it it's more like a BB it's a really small little round tip there's a lot of different types of uh, tips and, and one isn't necessarily better than the other it's up to personal preference along with the wood tips you also have the nylons now when you play unfortunately my nylon tips tips sticks are a little worse for wear so I really can't use them without fear of taking the tip in the head when it but uh, with a nylon st uh, tipped stick you're gonna get a more defining sound uh, you could be able to play more intricately it's, it's a lot different sound than a wood uh, tip stick um, a lot of people prefer those now when it came to electronic drums I actually liked the the nylon tip sticks better but when it with the acoustics and the actual uh, cymbals and whatnot I do prefer the wood stick the wood is uh, I don't know it, it's a warmer sound I think when you play um, the heads of your toms and whatnot in the snare it's a warmer sound the the, the nylon the, is the nylon's biggest difference is where you hit the cymbals. You can definitely hear, you don't hear the stick hit it as hard, you don't hear the, the you know, when you hit a cymbal hard with your the wood stick, you definitely hear the connection. With the nylon, it's not as much, and you get a, a better, a more cymbal-y sound, or it, it really doesn't make sense. I'm still not fully awake yet, but I am pretty impressed with these things. Now that is it. one of just one of these sticks. It's almost that two B is almost as seems almost as heavy as a pair of five Bs. It, it almost is. so it's going to be interesting to see what I get in the next couple of weeks using those larger sticks. Um, I am going to try to keep a variety of sizes. Uh, there are some drummers that prefer one type of stick for everything. 
Well, that's fine. That's your preference. Uh, me, I prefer to have uh, different sticks for different uses, of course. Uh, I think my, my favorites are going or will always be the 5Bs, just because I'm so used to them. But when you know, I really want to get down and ha have some have some good fun, I think the 2Bs are going to be uh, the candidate for that. Um, my brushes. Well, brushes are a lot different. I am not at the point in my playing abilities where I can effectively use brushes. Um, if I go back in time, I probably would have saved $15 and not ordered them just because it, it's brushes are not going to be for me. Um, there are people who can do amazing things with them. I'm not one of those. Uh, I don't have the patience to learn something because most of the music I play doesn't contain any brush playing in it. And I don't want to kick off with some Phil Rudd stuff and ACDC with brushes because I'll be laughed off the internet. So if you're going to do play something along with the lines of Phil Rudd, you definitely need the bigger sticks. Uh, the longer sticks, um, it's going to take some time before I can determine uh, how everything is Actually, probably what stick I'm going to continue on with the rest of my life, I guess. Um, I'll always keep 5Bs in the stable, but I might go with a little bit longer stick. David, our David R. swears by him just because he doesn't. you don't have to reach out as much or as far. And it just for him, the balance-wise, the, the, the definite plus on uh, a larger or longer stick like this is that... Uh, you have a little bit more to adjust and play with. I mean, how, however you're playing. My, me, I'm constantly sliding. Uh, the way I'm playing certain things, I'm moving my hand back and forth along the shaft of the stick um, to achieve different things with it. And I think by having the longer ones like this, I think it'll be beneficial to me. Uh, but that's it. This wasn't going to be a very long video. It doesn't need to be. It's just on drumsticks and some new acquisitions. Um, I am really, I am really excited to play with these big sticks. Yeah, you can't really say it without making it sound bad. Uh, they are quite weighty. And the, the bigger stick, the definite plus with a, a larger drumstick like this, with these two Bs, is that they can take a little bit more punishment. Um, because my hi-hat's a little too high, which again I have to lower down. As you can see, the shoulder of the stick, the, from the neck to the shoulder of the stick, uh, takes quite a bit of abuse from me. Uh, but these are quite substantial. Uh, it, it, these are going to take the abuse as well, however I think they're going to last a lot longer than the others. And as far as my playing goes, I don't think I'll ever resort to using a pair of 7s again. Uh, I think the smallest drumstick I would use is the 5As. And I do like these Promark sticks. These are nice. Uh, I'm kind of a Vic Firth guy, though. So far, my favorite stick still is the, the 5Bs in the black finish here. These are a very nice stick, and they're inexpensive. Uh, they hold up pretty good. They look kind of cool. And they just have a good grip and feel to them. I'm excited to see what these are going to do in the next couple weeks, as well as the longer freestyle sticks. Um, I'm a little concerned just because they don't have the finish on it and how my grip is going to be. But then again, one thing I, I've, I've found is that if you're having problems keeping a hold of your sticks or they slide out of your hands or your, your ele black electrical tape, and not wrapping the entire stick all the way t through, but just just a couple bands around like that. Just a little bit goes a long way. Black electrical tape works really, really well to help you keep a grip on them. But in the videos from here on out, uh, I'll keep giving updates and on the status of how this is going, and especially with the LA specials. And the LA specials are made 
by Diodario. At least I was told they are. So we'll see. And it was funny. I was at work. Uh, what was it? What was the first day they came back? To, first day most of the stores were open after New Year's. I think it was Tuesday. So I'm at work driving the truck, and I get a phone call, and I see uh, Sweetwater. So it was my drum engineer, Brad Irwin, from Sweetwater. And it says Brad Irwin, Sweetwater, on my phone. And uh, he's like, Todd. I'm like, how you doing, Brad? And he goes, Happy New Year and all that. And Sweetwater people are just fabulous. And he goes, two bees. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, we don't sell many two bees drumsticks what is up with the two bees and I went through the whole thing with him told him why and uh, he takes an interest that, that, that's the neat thing about Sweetwater they're drum engineers like I'm I live in northern Michigan and I assume by the way they go that certain certain members of their, their engineers their techs or whatever you want to call it have certain areas of the United States uh, that they cover and I guess uh, Brad covers Michigan or I always talk to him I only talk to him usually and uh, it, this kind of neat he, he t they take an interest in what's going on and you know it, he was just what the hell are you doing with two B's I mean these are some considerably big sticks and I said well I like to play a lot of ACDs and he goes that explains it and I said yep and he asked about the, the freestyles and I said they're a longer stick and I'm just trying to to find my way around this a little bit better, and uh, to try to my try to make my transition into a somewhat <laughs> better drummer. <sighs> but anyways, again, this is gonna be a short video. There, there's really not much to go off of. Uh, not more than I've already said. Uh, but anyways, so in the next couple weeks. Uh, You'll hear about my trials and tribulations with uh, the new sticks, and now I got to plan for next week's video or the week after that. I got to figure out what I'm going to do. One thing I will add in is that I was watching one of my favorites, and again, I don't know what happened to Mike Ellis from the Drum Fettler. I would like to know. I, I'm I'm really afraid the man passed away, which is would be terrible, but. Uh, in his video, one of his kits that he bought, he fell in love with a kit that the drummer for the Pretenders, uh, Martin Chambers, uh, he saw Martin Chambers play. It was a black and white kit. I believe it was made by Ryan. I thought it was made by Premier, but it was made by Chris Ryan. or, or Anyway, another gentleman. But it was a black and white kit. It, it was just absolutely stunning. He ended up buying it, and he was talking about uh, the set and who actually owned it before him but the look of this set was is, is pretty pretty amazing and you know the, the longer I have the set the less I like the black I like the black hardware so I'm thinking for one of my videos I might change the wrap and not by removing the wrap and putting a new one on but actually painting the wrap individual panels to try to match the set just because the set just really looks that good not that i'm trying to be martin chambers oh hell no i could never be that man i'm never going to be what they consider a good drummer i just don't have that much time on earth <laughs> everybody knows it takes a while to learn the drums even me pretending to play the drums it's taken me a while to just do a lot of the basics but anyways that's it for me i gotta get on my laundry and I'm looking forward later on to actually using these sticks and seeing what I can come up with and see how much I like them. But anyway, anyways, you guys have a great week. Take care of each other. Be safe. Stay warm. Peace. <laughs>